also mandated to propose reforms to prevent the plant protest and boycott of the Nigeria female football team at the just concluded Women's World Cup and also to prevent future reoccurrences. The committee was also started with the following responsibilities to all the NFF to pay match bonuses and allowance, allowances to the super powerful. Invite the NFF and relevant stakeholders to appear before the ad hoc committee and provide detailed reports on the steps taken to resolve the dispute. Number one, it is a budget we presented to the government uh, requesting for intervention. That was what uh, uh, cumulatively came around $1.7 million and the government approved it. And when it goes to the Federal Ministry of Finance for payments, normally they don't pay us in dollar. The Federal Ministry of Finance, under the Office of the Accountant General, converts the money into Naira based on the official exchange rate as it is, as at the time of payment. And then we try to pursue that payment. Only half of the approval was paid. It's not the entire $1.7 million that was paid. Only half of the approved money was paid. That is why it's come, gone down to 690 something million that was paid to us. So it was only 50% of the money that was paid. And the money were being converted to Nera as, at the time of payment on official rate by government. That was what the Federal Ministry of Finance used to pay us. And then in the area of how we uh, spent it, the money were paid just about three weeks ago, and we are still on the process of making payment to beneficiaries, those that are entitled for what, one or two things out of the money. So we are still on the process of making the payments to those that are beneficiaries of that approval. So I think that's the only thing I can say about it. If it is funds from the federal government, there is procedure set aside by government, and that is a procedure I follow. If it is funds from FIFA, FIFA will tell you exactly the procedure to follow to make procurement, because they will send their auditors to look at it, foreign auditors, and then you have to follow that procedure. So we make sure that we follow the procedure laid down by FIFA in making the payments. And when you do that, you also submit them to FIFA to verify that you follow due process in doing it. Okay, sir. So, Secretary General, sir, will it be safe to conclude that you have two procurement procedures in operation at the NFF, one based on what you receive from FIFA and another one based on what you receive from the Federation account? I don't want to say that there are two procedures. I'm only saying also that FIFA has guidelines which you follow. In accordance with that guidelines, you make payments. Okay. I am not a financial expert, but I am telling you what I know administratively. Um, a lot have been discussed, a uh, lot have been deliberated, and the m most interesting one is the beautiful news we had from you today that last week Friday, the bonuses and allowances of the girls super falcon have been paid. So that's a very wonderful news. 